Do you want to play with us? Okay. Hello? Say hello to my little friend. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG Build Guide Edition. Today I'm ready to drop on you my new and refreshed shotgun marksman for Rogue. This is all about up close and personal and hitting enemies with as many arrows as possible. As always, I will cover every single facet of the build. Everything is timestamped in the description below if you need to bounce around. Let's not waste any time and jump right into this. Starting off with some gameplay. Now on here, let me explain how it works. You're never manually shooting multi-shot. You're going to be channeling Flurry, and then Flurry is going to be shooting all the arrows for you, which is really nice. Same with Shift. It's going to be auto-triggering Shuriken, so you never have to worry about it yourself. We like builds that doesn't require a ton of clicking. Now, the reason why this build is called a Shotgun Marksman. Normally, when you shoot multi-shot and shoot 20, 30 arrows, only one of those arrows actually does damage to the target, where in the shotgun form, every arrow can hit the same enemy. So instead of doing damage once, you're doing damage 20 times. What's also great about this build is you basically have a guaranteed stun chance in it with an 800% stun chance. Now you do take a hit to damage, but obviously the more arrows does counter that. And as you can see, enemies are slowed, enemies are stunned, and this marksman build is played at melee range. I've always loved this design. It's a very fun build to play. And as you can see, for the most part, I just kind of stand still, let enemies come to me, and we just absolutely tear them up. It's really fun when you get enemies that have large hitboxes and literally all the arrows tear through them. And it's pretty simple to play. Now you are in harm's way though, so you gotta be careful. You're very tanky or you're a lot tankier when you are shooting. You will notice when you die, it's because you got stunned or something and you're not actually leeching or getting life back. For the most part, you stand there, shoot, shift when you can, and then you just keep shooting. A pretty simple build. Shotgun Marksman. Let me kill all these enemies and then we'll go up here and I will show you what it is like for single target. It's hilarious. It'll give you a better understanding of the build. There's a exiled mage right up here. All right, all right, close up. Smoke bomb gives you a lot of survivability. This build almost has a guaranteed crit chance, too. You'll notice we'll be critting all the time with our multi-shot. Die. Okay. Watch uh, this. Ready? Up close and personal. I'm done. Jump out of there, Shade of Oribus. Right, come to me. Makes it easier. Every single arrow is hitting the same target. We do have Pierce in here, so it will hit enemies behind him as well. And Shade is going down. Twenty. Dude, we shoot so fast. I do wish we had some kill threshold. Shade of Orvis, you are dead. Let me show you how to recreate this build. Now let's break down the skills, starting with our first skill, Shift, one of the best movement skills in the game. And pay attention to the order in which nodes I tell you to take. This is how you're gonna want to do it in game. So the first thing you want to do is come to the left here and get Shadow Recuperation and get Sleight of Hand. This is going to make it where you will never have to manually use Shurikens because Shift is going to proc them for you, which we love. We want as little clicking as possible. You then want to put two points, one into Breathing Technique and one into Rebound. That way if you hit deals 50% of your health, it resets and you can get out of harm's way. The rest of the points, you're just going to come right around the outside edge here. And you're going to get cooldown recovery, boost to speed, mana, and invulnerable. Absolutely love shift. It focuses and works so well. Moving over to shurikens. First thing you're going to do is come down and get these skills here. This is Alcriti. You're going to get Fan of Blades. You're going to get Blade Shield. You're going to get Floating Blades and Blade Armor. 
This is going to give you survivability. It is also going to make them spin around you. So when you are in melee range, it's going to just keep hitting the enemies over and over again. And you want them to pierce. So the next you want to take is Eternal Blades. That way they just keep hitting the same enemies over and over again. Your next five points, you want four into Abrasive Arsenal, which is going to shred physical resistance and then one into physical penetration. Moving over to your spam skill flurry. This is going to be what you are actually going to be shooting and channeling the whole time. And the node that is most important is right here, which is going to make it where every sixth arrow you will be. It'll be replaced with multi shot. So you'll be channeling like you saw in the gameplay and you'll just see multi shot coming out like crazy because you are shooting so fast. So what you want to do is you want to go through here and get all of these nodes which is going to buff your arrow frequency. It's going to give you resistances. It is going to buff your overall damage. This is what you want. OK, so come to the left first. You are then going to come up and you're going to get leech. You're going to get health and you're going to get mana. That way you will notice in this build anytime you die, it's probably because you're not shooting. But when you are shooting, you are very, very tanky. And then lastly, you want to come down here and get relentless, which is going to be attack speed and then come down here and get Adrenaline Rush, which will trigger all the time, which will just further your attack speed. You're going to be shooting insanely fast. It's almost like a machine gun marksman instead of a shotgun marksman. Coming over to multi-shot. Now in this build, again, shurikens, you're never clicking. That is auto cast from shift and multi-shot. You are never clicking because this is auto cast from flurry, which is nice. Again, you don't have to hit a lot of buttons. Now on here, there are two nodes that literally make this build possible. The first one is right here to the right, Giant Slayer. Multi-shot arrows from the same attack can hit the same target. So this is the whole idea. A lot of people don't know you shoot 20 arrows and you hit an enemy. Only one of those arrows does damage, where when you have Giant Slayer, all 20 arrows can hit the same target and do damage. Every single enemy you hit will always be stunned because this is going to give you an 800% stun chance. But no, this is a multiplicative 80, 80% down in damage. But obviously, you make it up with shooting so many arrows, but you got to be in melee range. On the other side of this skill tree, you'll see right here point blank. Multi shot does more damage to close targets. So hit damage to close targets, 75% multiplicative. So you're trying to try to take point blank and you take giant slayer and hope that these kind of cancel out. OK, but what you want to do first is actually go up and around here and you want to get giant slayer. All right, so that's what you want first. It's going to be damage. It's going to be projectile speed. Your enemy targets have to be slowed because you do 60% more damage to slowed targets. So make sure you get it on your idols or you can get it through smoke bomb or you can get it through your quiver. There's so many places you can get slow chance, but make sure your enemies are slowed. OK, you then want to come down here and you want to come over and you want to get point blank for the reasons I just explained. You then want to come down and get repeater bow. Fewer attacks between double shots, so every four shots you will shoot a double attack, which is really, really nice. You want the enemy, you want uh, piercing shots so that you just don't hit the first enemy, but it goes through two enemies and hits people behind them. And then you want to come up into the left for strong pull. Now, you don't care about the attack speed because you're not even shooting it manually, so you're just getting the damage. Now here I have 23 points because I have plus three to multi shot. If you don't have those plus three and you only have 20 points, just take three out of sniping. And then the skill tree would still be the same. Last but not least, smoke bomb. And this one is also extremely easy. You're going to use this for survivability. You're going to come here and take lingering fumes. When you're in your smoke bomb, you're going to get an extra 10% base crit chance, which means you're basically always going to be critting. You're then going to get Carnage, which is going to give you Crimson Shroud for survivability. You want to continue around and get Moonlight Bomb, which is going to give your Silver Shroud stacks. It's going to cleanse ailments. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to get Dust Shroud 100%. So lots of survivability and basically guaranteed crit when you are inside here. And again, if you don't have a slow chance, you can come in here and get Thick Smoke, which will apply slow to enemies. Those are the skills.
Moving over to the passives. Now, right now, our shotgun marksman is only ni level 93, so I will show you where to put the final seven points, starting with the base tree. And right now, we have 32 points into Rogue. We have Swift Assassin, Attack Speed, and Base Physical. This build is all focused around physical. Steady Hand for Dex and Life. We've got Guile, we've got Evasion, and we've got Agility. So this is just going to give you less damage while moving with dodge rating, and you're going to do more damage based upon your movement speed and haste chance on hits. So you're going to be running around pretty fast. We also have five points into dodge and parry, which is going to further boost your dodge base and glancing blow base chance. We're then going to move over to marksman. We have five into draining arrows, five, eight into focus fire. Five into Assassin's Quiver, five into Wound Maker, and five into Heightened Senses. It's going to be very easy for you to have critical or critical strike on enemies, and this gives you multiplicative damage, and it gives you base critical strike avoidance. Awesome tree right here of these five points on each one, and you don't need ten here. You only need five. Coming over, we have Thief's Quiver, which is going to give you Leech on your bow, help keep you alive. One into Arrow Storm, 10% chance is all you need. You'll proc it all the time because you shoot so fast. Five into Barrage of Pain, Crit Strike Chance, and five into Perfect Aim, Crit Strike Multiplier. We also come up and put three points right here into Eternal Arrows and Master Archer, which is just going to give you more shots. Now we're going to come back to this node right here. You're then going to come over to Blade Dancer and put eight points into Cloak of Shadows, which is going to give you again more decks and more Glancing Blow base. And then you're going to come over to Falconry. You want five into Raptor's Rings, Wings, which is going to give you basically haste on hit, which again, you're going to be running around quick all the time. And then you want to come here and put one point into Wilderness Scout and five points into Tenacity. This is going to make it where your endurance threshold, you're going to get a 15% base based upon your max health, which is huge. Now, this goes away when you are hit, but again, it helps you with any big initial hits basically helps you not get one shot now your final 10 points are going to be back in the marksman tree like i said i'm level 97 so i have seven more points to put in and we're putting them right here into prolonged demise now we don't care about the multiplicative or the damage over time what we do care about is less damage over time taken so this is going to give you 10 percent dr to dots which is really important for staying alive those are the passives. Moving over to Last Epoch Tools, we're going to break down the blessings, idols, gear, and the character sheet, starting with the blessings. Now, when it comes to survivability, you want void resistance, all resistance, and endurance. So those are the three for survivability. Then want to build up a little bit of mana. You could take lightning resistance as well if you need it. In this case, we didn't need it, so I have taken mana. And then the most important blessing is right here. Grand Fury of the North. Chance to apply shred physical resistance on hit. And you can get this as high as 50%. So you are just tearing through their physical resistance. Very important blessing right here. Now moving over to the idols. And really, there's only two idols that you need to look for. The rest you can spread out and get whatever you want. It is this idol right here. Increase damage per arrow with multi-shot and chance to apply slow on bow hit. Now you only need one of these, okay? But you could have slow on both. I have taken damage and slow. And then on here, I took damage and increase armor shred effect. These other idols are all just filling in our resistances giving us a little more mana and then double increased health. Okay, moving over to the gear. Now, there is technically no requirement for this build. There is a best in slot, but if you don't have a single unique, if you are brand new to the game, you don't have to worry. There's nothing required. Now, that being said, we are using Drellcore's compass and I have put on here increased base physical bow damage and increased bow attack speed. This is going to make it where multi-shot shoots four additional arrows and you have and it costs less and it gives you increased stun chance. Now, you do not have to use this bow. There's other bows that work as well. This is just curiously what this is currently what I'm using in game. The other flip side to this is Arrow Guard. And what's important about Arrow Guard is one, this is a very common low level unique, very easy to find, and it does do something pretty cool. It gives you chance to receive glancing blow on hit, health gained when you received a glancing blow, and base armor. And it gives you some stun chance as well. So 
for a base quiver, this is really nice. And of course you would need to find this with legendary potential. And just like on our weapon, I put base physical bow damage and increased bow attack speed. Neither required, but both are really nice. Now I'll go through each item one at a time. Helmet, increased damage with arrow with multi-shot, just like our idols, and then plus two multi-shot. Every single item on here only has a singular T6 affix. I want to show you what our stats are with very minimal gear. Amulet, crit multiplier, physical penetration and double health. Armor, increased damage per arrow with multi-shot, dex, health, health. Belt, mana regen, physical, health, health. Boots, dex, vitality, health, health. And wait a second, this is actually a mistake. Should not be vitality. You should be movement speed. There we go. Dex, movement speed, health, health. Gloves, dex, critical strike chance, health, health. You'll notice a lot of life on all of these items. Ring, dex, physical, elemental, physical. Ring, dex, physical, health, crit avoidance. And then our last is on our relic, critical strike multiplier, physical, health, and lightning. And this also has critical strike chance and health gained on crit. So with this gear, with only a singular T6 affix, blessings and idols, let me show you. Dexterity, we're at 84, with Vitality at 11. All of our resistances are maxed with the exception of Physical, but remember, inside of Flurry, you have this node right here, which is gonna boost your Physical resistance by 16%. So just know, when you are shooting, this Physical resistance will be over maxed. It just won't show it here on our chart. When you go to defensive, our endurance percent is at 65% maxed. Our endurance threshold is at 1300 and our critical strike avoidance is at 110. Now, another survivability on here is glancing blow and just standing still, you're going to be at 61% glancing blow. So that's pretty good. Your armor is going to also be at 19% and your dodge chance is going to be at 16%. So you do have a lot of survivability inside of this build. And just like all of my other builds, this can push empowered content. And honestly, it's just an absolute blast to play. Aaron, this is great, but how do I level my shotgun marksman from level one to what I am seeing on screen right now? Great question. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a blade dancer, marksman, or a falconer, I level my characters, my rogues, the exact same way. Same three skills. I use shift shurikens and cinder strike. First skill you're actually gonna unlock is shift. And what you want to do is you wanna come over here and get velocity and you wanna get momentum. That way you can use shift more often and you are running through the campaign quick. You then wanna come up here and get sleight of hand so that it'll auto trigger your shurikens, okay? Second skill you're gonna take is cinder strike, which is actually gonna be your damage dealer. Now you have a choice. You could take this as a marksman if you wanna use a bow or you can dual wield melee. I actually like dual wielding melee. That way I can use fire starters torch. There's so much good fire gear early on. So what I would use is melee cinder strike and take these three nodes up here. So you've got your movement skill and you've got your melee or marksman ability. And then the third skill I take is shurikens, which is auto triggered again through shift. And I come over here and I get blade storm. And then I come up here and I get eternal piercing so that it doesn't go away and it keeps hitting the enemy. Those three skills, literally shuriken, shift and cinder strike. And all you're doing is shifting and cinder strike will take you through the entire campaign. All right, everyone, that's the build guide. What do you think of my new and refreshed shotgun marksman? Is there anything I missed? Is there anything I do to take us to the next level? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I've earned it. If I haven't earned it, I'm gonna work harder for you. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 131 members that have signed up. It is the best way to support into the future. It is the first link in the description. You get access to the VIP lounge on Discord where we chit chat every day. You get access to audio and video live streaming. You get access to exclusive content. We just did movie night. We have game night coming in up, really leaning into Patreon. It's just the best way to support. And I owe it to you guys to come through. First link in the description. I'm done. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron. Out.